Hey guys, what's up? Sam here back with another video. This video is all about Android and customizability. And the reason why I love Android so much is because it is very customizable, especially in comparison to other uh, platforms such as iOS and Windows. With Android, you're able to customize your phone pretty much how you want it and not how they want you to have it. Now the current Google flagship is a Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. And one of the really awesome features about that phone that I absolutely love is the whole squeeze uh, functionality. We're able to squeeze the phone to bring up the Google Assistant. It kind of reminded me of the Bixby on the S8 and S8 Plus and the Note series where you squeeze the Bixby button and it brought up the Bixby Assistant. Now there's a lot of frustration going on because you weren't able to customize the Bixby button to do anything else apart from what it was set to do. Now the same thing can be applied for the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL because once you squeeze your phone, it's only gonna bring up the Google Assistant. However, that problem has been fixed now with a new app App called Edge Sense Plus. It's a really awesome app and basically what it does is allow you to customize the whole squeeze function of your Pixel 2. Now I must let you know to have this working on your device your Pixel 2 has to be rooted. It's not hard at all. In fact I did a video on that some time ago. I'll put it in the description box down below or somewhere up top here and you guys can click on that and check it out. It's pretty simple. In fact I had to go back and watch that video to go and root this phone so good tutorial. But anyways guys, that's the app, it's called Edge Sense Plus. It actually works along with a Magisk module. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do this, how to get it installed on your phone and working, all right? Really awesome app, guys. Let's go ahead and do this. Now how this works is that you have to have a rooted phone. So as you can see here, I'm rooted with the Magisk manager. And if you check root checker right here, it will show you that I am rooted. So you have to be rooted for this to work. Now once you're rooted and have Magisk Manager installed on your phone, all you have to do is go over to XDA and I'll put the links in the description below guys. Just go ahead and download the Edge Sense Plus Magisk module and then install it. All right, now once you've transferred it to your device, you should see it right here in your download section. As you can see, it's right here. So just go back into the Magisk Manager. All right, scroll to the side here, click on module, click on the plus sign, and then click right here. This is the one you just transferred, it's Pixel 2. And you should see it's doing its thing there pretty fast, all right? As you can see here, it won't be updated until you reboot the device. So we're gonna go ahead and reboot. All right, now once you're booted back up, go back into Magix Manager and you should see the module. All right, it's right here, it's ticked and everything. Now once that's done, just go to the Play Store and download the actual app to control this. All right, so let's go ahead and tick Edge Sense Plus. All right, click on Install. All right, go ahead and click on Open. And this is the app right here. You have the main section, you have the sidebar settings. Pretty cool stuff guys. With this you can have a single squeeze or a long squeeze. Now in the single squeeze option you have actions per app. So depending on what app you're in, it could learn something different. So that's pretty cool. You need to enable permissions for this. So let's go ahead and click on OK. And Edge Sense Plus, go ahead and permit that. Now action per app, we can add an app here. So let's say we are in YouTube and we wanna bring up the, let's say, split screen. Now for split screen, you also need to enable some permissions as well. Now what this is saying right here is that Google has some new rules when it comes to accessibilities and what certain apps can access. So you need to download a helper app. So let's go ahead and let's download that real quick from XDA. All right, Edge Sense Plus Accessibility Helper. All right, this is gonna allow you to have everything working how it should. All right, let's go ahead and open that. Go in settings and allow from this source. All right, go ahead and click on install right there. And click on open. All right. So just need to make sure that this is in the accessibility section here. Just make sure you turn that on, all right? That's Go back out. So, I right, so let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Let's go into YouTube here, and we're gonna do a single squeeze. Ah, it definitely worked, guys. Definitely worked. Let's go ahead and try some more stuff. All right, let's go back up into the app. Let's try another one. So, just click on the little plus icon here. Let's say we're in the Play Store. And 
and we want to bring up uh, how about a screenshot all right click ok also again it's gonna be needing some permissions to be allowed all right so let's try that out play store let us try another page squeeze and it took the screenshot that's pretty dope all right let's go back into the app and let's do a long squeeze all right so a long squeeze let's see what we can bring up with that how about the home screen so whatever app you're in doing a long squeeze will bring you to the home screen so let's try that out right now long squeeze home all right long squeeze home all right pretty dope guys pretty dope now there are other features like double squeeze and motion sensor it says here that motion sensor if enabled gestures can trigger different actions based on what position the device is in so for example if you lay the phone flat and squeeze it it will give you a different action as opposed to if you have it standing upright and then squeeze it all right now for these you're going to need to pay a little fee to get these premium features but it's pretty cool it has media controls you can squeeze it to play or pause a track or skip it that's pretty cool long squeeze definitely worth it and you can change the intervals of the squeeze and stuff like that brightness stays you can turn it up turn it down it has do not disturb mode this is a really awesome app guys definitely check it out now let's go ahead and check out the sidebar so if you do a long squeeze we can just select to bring up the sidebar Let's go ahead, click on OK, AdSense Plus, click on Allow. Let's go back. Now make sure you go ahead and click on this right here, Allow Modify System Settings, and go back. So let's do a long squeeze. All right, this is pretty dope, guys. This is nice. It brings up a sidebar. This is really, really cool, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and play around with it some more but if you want to go ahead and customize a squeeze a function of your pixel tool definitely check out edge sense plus awesome app shout out to the developer j to the 4n <laughs> pretty cool name so yeah guys that is the app it's called edge sense plus i do hope you guys liked it just as much as i did if you did let me know by smashing that thumbs up button down below and if you have any other questions any app you want me to check out or anything anything at all guys just let me know in the comment sections down below and if you haven't subscribed already guys what are you waiting for go ahead and subscribe as always guys my name is duck i'll catch you guys in the next one zine